Hello everybody and hope you guys are having a good weekend and this is going to be week two of the NFL Europe. Amsterdam taking on the Monarchs and both teams coming off a big win last week with London beating I believe uh, Scotland 27-14 and Amsterdam pummeling the Galaxy 35-14 uh, with their running attack. So let's get into Who's going to be in this game? For the Admirals uh, today, uh, a big look at Hunter McFarlane after last week's three touchdown display. And Avery Henson uh, did a good job as well, I believe. Only one touchdown, 59 yards. Not that many completions. He didn't do that well. But this defense is definitely about it. So let's see how London can compete against this defense. Then you have the Monarchs defense. Uh, De Leon, I believe, had two INTs. No, he had one INT. But this defense is the real deal. Also, watch out for Stevens and Van Dexter, who got three touchdowns last week. So, let's get into it. Our game comes to you from Amsterdam as we get set for some overseas football. Welcome to this battle between division rivals from the AFC North. Amsterdam squares off against the visiting team. Echo package. Pressure coming. They'll take off. It's on the ground. The Admirals pick it up. The offense recovers its own fumble. Visiting team come out in a 4-3. They'll pass on first down. Gets rid of it. And it's caught. A leaping catch. Firing a ball into the end zone. Touchdown, Admiral. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and the touchdown. Not in a nickel package. No pass on first down. Throwing. And it's intercepted. The 40. Graham takes it back to the 29-yard line. Dropping back, fakes the throw. With the throw, right to the back. Running with a lot of room in front. Touchdown, Amsterdam. They go with the pass play on third and short. With the throw, and it's complete. And he's pushed out of bounds. The lone back, dropping back. Gets the pass off. The wide receiver has it. Graham comes up to make the play. Comes out in their nickel package. Under pressure. Number 60 looks to be shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. For the run with all those linebackers out there. With the pass, he hits his receiver. Number 20 comes up to make the play. Gets rid of it, and he lets it slip out of his grasp. Dropping back, fakes the throw. Gets the pass off. The back is wide open. Israel takes him down before he can get the first. Rolling out to his left. He's going to run. And he goes out at the 50-yard line. With the throw. Leap to the wide receiver. Number 20 is there for the tackle. Dropping back the pass on first down. Throws it. And he hits his target. He goes down. Going to the air on first down. With a deep throw to the right side. He made the catch. Touchdown, visiting team. Dropping back the pass on first down. With the throw, complete to the wide receiver. The 50, number 20, makes the stop at the 49-yard line. Blitz is coming. Gets the pass off right to the back. Israel is there for the tackle. It's a blitz. No, no. Rowing. And this pass is completed. Number 20 brings him down. It will be a 37-yard attempt. The attempt is good. Going into halftime. Score is 17-7. They're blitzing. Closing in. Protected well. Throwing on the run. He hits his receiver. The 40. Gilbert with the tackle. And hand off to the tailback. Go down. Williams.
Williams is there on the stop. At the, the ball on first down, but still trail. Yeah, sometimes a strong running game doesn't always translate into scoring a lot of points. They're going to spot this one at the 11-yard line. Dropping back. Rosen. Wide open to the running back. And he dives out at the one. Trying to sneak it. And he gets in there. Touchdown. Touchdown. Throwing. And he lets it slip out of his grasp. Two extra defensive backs. The defense is in the dime. Dropping back. Stepping up. Throws it. Israel picks it off. Fumble. The visiting team scoop up the fumble. Hand it off. Now that's a stiff one. Williams brings him down at the 26-yard line. With the throw, and it's complete. Gilmer makes the tackle at the 21. Allen can't get past the marker, so it'll bring up fourth down. Flanagan will tie it up here with a field goal. It's good. The visiting team have tied the game. This one is fielded by Gilbert. There we go. And he high steps his way to the end zone. And they'll bring this one all the way back. Touchdown. The visiting team line up in the bunch formation. Hand it off. Williams pulls him down at the 40 sec. Under pressure, throwing. Jumps, and he has it. And he steps out of bounds at the 35. 4-3. Tucks it away. They'll go with a play fake with the throw. And the catch is made. Williams is there on the stop. Drops back. Launches it across the middle. Intercepted in the end zone. So he throws the fourth quarter interception. He just should have tucked it away and run with it. The Admirals line up in a 4-3. Hands it off. Turner hauls him down behind the line. On their nickel pack. Hand it off. They'll go with a play fake. With the pass. Almost picked off. Pressure. Down he goes. Huge sack that time. Stopping them on third down with under two minutes to play. Well, it's really not much of a decision here. They have to go for it. On the call, closing in. He held on to it too long. Crosses it right. Number 42 is there for the tackle. At the three. Right there. Silver, 28. Let's go, let's go. Rowing. Now he looks for blockers. Touchdown, Admirals. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in his play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. That's the end of the game. The final score is the Amsterdam Admirals, 34, the away team, 17. All right, and the Admirals take a big W here at home, 31 to uh, 17, I believe. And Avery Henson with three touchdowns and only 144 yards, he did his thing and gave it to his man McFarland, who got 47 rushing yards. But his main his main attraction today was receiving this time, unlike last time where he got four, I believe, four rushing touchdowns or three, and then. He uh, he goes out and gets five receptions with two touchdowns there, along with John Booth, uh, murderous intentions with that name, and a little bit of split time between uh, Van Dexter and Kevin Eakin, who uh, Van Dexter got injured, and he got a rating of 2.8, which is god-awful. I think you can spike the ball on every play and get a higher rating than that. I think that's probably one of the worst ratings I've ever seen in a Madden game. So, 
Yeah, one uh no touchdowns for him. Kevin Eakin, he stayed in for a little bit until he got intercepted. Uh this team just couldn't get too much done on uh on the offensive side of the ball. And it ended up with a loss, but Israel and uh Erickson and Eric Graham all got interceptions today. So congratulations to the Admirals on winning this one. Alright, and that concludes week two with the best teams so far are the Admirals, Centurions, and Thunder. And the Claymores and Monarchs suffer their first loss. Or at least the Monarchs do. And then next week, we got week three. We got the Galaxy versus the Fire for next week in uh, week three. So uh, that should be an interesting matchup. Both teams 0 and 1, and both teams having their bye weeks. So that should be interesting. And, uh,. Thank you guys for watching, and tune in next time for week three.